Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today I'm going to have a quick wham bam thank you ma'am tutorial on how to get a one size fits all undervolt for the Intel i7 7700HQ. Now this isn't going to go into any detail on what anything means, you can be a complete noob novice to go through, just follow what I do to get a one size fits all undervolt for this processor. So you want to go to, you want to download a program called Throttle Stop, this is my preferred program. Um, it's the best, I love it, and it's black and red as well. Fucking everyone loves black and red. So, you want to go to the website Tech Power Up, which is this website here. If you type in Throttle Stop into Google, chances are it'll be your first result. Uh, but definitely get it from this website and know that third party bullshit malware wankers. Download it. It'll take seconds because it's only 190 kilobytes big. And then you want to go to your downloads folder. Or wherever you saved it extract your throttle stop and then open up throttle stop from within it and what you will get is I've already got it open boom there we go and then before it goes into this screen here what you're looking at now you'll get a message saying are you sure you want to proceed anything you do with this software we are not liable for if you fuck anything up now we have to take full responsibility because we're men and that's what men do. So click OK and then you're going to get to this screen. You're going to forget everything in here. Don't worry. Everything by default is happy days. What you're interested in doing is going to FIVR just here. And what you'll see is ignore everything else except for CPU core. This is the first thing we're going to do. And this box here will be unchecked. So you want to check this box to allow you to change the offset voltage. Now by default this will be on zero. But we're undervolting it. And you'll know if you're here looking at undervolting. You'll know why you're doing it. It's to reduce your temperatures uh, of your system. That And it doesn't affect any performance at all. Now for the i7-7700HQ. The general consensus is that no matter. As long as you've got this processor a very safe. And stable undervolt is I've got to set a little bit higher because I've tested the system out is minus 100 MV now so set this to minus 100.6 MV you'll always get the point on the end just the way the, the, the software works and then you're gonna to go to CPU cache you're gonna do exactly the same thing check this box to allow you to adjust the offset voltage and set that to 100.6 the next thing you're going to do is go to your intel gpu and you're going to again check this box adjust offset voltage to minus 40 there we go that'll be exactly minus 40 once you've done those changes you're going to go down here don't click apply or ok just yet what you want to do is you want to make sure the radial box that is ok do not save changes is checked the reason being is if we click OK here, if we've done an undervolt, this undervolt's safe, but if you go a little bit higher, you went a bit too far, and you click Apply, your system might freeze because it doesn't have enough voltage to do its job. And by having this checked here, it means once your system restarts, that it'll go back to default, so you haven't fucked things up, you can still actually get in to change your settings. So once you click Apply, if your system's running alright, great. You want to go down to this box here, OK, save voltages, voltages immediately. So click on apply, then OK. And what that'll do is that'll make sure it's saved. These settings are saved to throttle stops INI um, folder. And it'll remain that. I'm just going to click on cancel here because I don't want to save these settings because I've got a little bit of a more undervolt because I've tested it and it's stable for me. But you're just going to go with these settings. So we'll click, you'll, you'll click OK now. Now the last thing you want to do within throttle stop is go to the options and the only things I've changed here which will actually make yours look like mine but the only things I changed on here was I checked the box so it starts minimized I checked the box that it minimizes on close it won't actually close the program because we want this running in the background all the time and I've got an Nvidia 1060 graphics card so I've checked the NVIDIA GPU. These will be unchecked for you. So if you've got an AMD, check AMD. If you've got NVIDIA, 
check Nvidia, and that's it. Click on OK. And that's it. That's all the settings we need to change within Throttle Stop. Now, there is a problem, well, not a problem, but an issue with all, well, there's there's another program you can use to underclock called XTU. I, pr I, don't, I don't really like that. I prefer Throttle Stop. But on both programs, they tend not to, even if you go within the software, they won't run on startup. So you actually have to open the program up every time you start, you turn off your computer and turn it back on. Now, there's a way around that, so we're going to go over that. So you can close throttle, stop down, minimise it, whatever you want. We're going to go to Windows Task Scheduler. Task. Boom. Task Scheduler. And we're going to create a new schedule for a system startup. So we're going to create a basic task. Give it a name, throttle stop. I want to call mine throttle stop one because I've already got an existing profile for this. Click on next. Now, you want to check when I log on. And there is a reason I'm using this and not when computer starts. The reason is if you check when computer starts, it will still work, but it won't be in your system tray. It'll still run in the background, but it, you won't have quick access to it from here. And I like it to be here. So when I log on, next. Start a program, next. You're gonna to go to where Throttle Stop's extracted to. So mine's just a me, this PC downloads Throttle Stop where we were before. And then click on next. Now you, this is your final page on the, the the basic task quick start. But what we wanna do is we, we wanna change some more settings. So you wanna make sure this box is checked, open the properties dialog for this task when I click finish and then click finish. And that'll open up this up. So, what you want on this page is run only when trigger is, uh, trigger, what the hell, run only when user is logged on, and you also want to check run with highest privileges. Then, under the configure for, you want to change to your Windows operating system. I'm on Windows 10, so that's what I want to select. Now, you want to go to triggers, and this is just, this will say, at log on, your computer, your user, that's when it's going to activate. Actions, start a program, throttle stop, we've already selected it conditions now leave that unchecked well pr pretty much going to uncheck every box power we want this to run whether it's on battery power or whether it's on ac power so i'm going to uncheck both of these boxes settings leave the first box checked allow task to run on demand but uncheck to stop the task if it runs longer than and if the task if the running task does not end when requested force it to stop disable that in history we don't need to change anything here. so Click OK, done. And you can check that that's done by going to T, throttle stop. I've already got my throttle stop on, and that's the one that I've created to show you. I'm just going to delete this because I don't want it doubling up. Delete. Yes. And I've still got my original throttle stop profile, so that's it. That's it, lads. That's your quick guide to undervolting. Now, just as a little, a little conclusion here, or a little, a little bit. Now, my idle temps for before I did any undervolting for this this i7 7700HQ was I was generally getting around about this, but actually these temps I was getting around about 55 to 58 idle temp. Uh, now these are a bit higher because you got to remember I'm running, I'm actually recording my screen capture and I'm running audacity at the same time so that's why my temps are a bit higher but my idle temps before under Volton were around about 55 to 58 now now my idle temps after under Volton are I've, I've saved 5 degrees C it's generally running at about 40 well 48 to 54 on idle but idle temps are are useless I wouldn't even pay attention to them unless they're quite high the ones that you're interested in are your max max temps now my max temperatures i was getting on when doing regular gaming grand theft auto 5 and um, running emulators etc before the undervolt was approximately 75 degrees c 76 possibly running up to the 80s now after the undervolt the max te i know this says 70 but i have actually achieved a max of 71 degrees c so that's like a Generally, I've getting a five degree C saving, which is huge. If you do want to go a bit further into this software to undervolt some more, 
So for example, use these settings for a week or two if you don't have any issues of system freezing, etc. If you do have those issues, you can decrease your undervolt to maybe 90, which I don't think you will have. If you've got 100, you probably won't need to need to do that. Um, but if you think you can push your undervolt a bit further, by all means come back into throttle stop and increase it by 5 to 105 run it for a couple of weeks increase it to 110 and that's what you can do or if you want you can go the hardcore route and run system stress test but that's not the way i go about things um, as i'm not a complete power under volting fucking psychomaniac okay so that's it lads i hope you've enjoyed the quick Wham bam thank you mom tutorial and I hope this helps your CPU temperatures as much as it has done me. Thanks very much lads, in a bit.